All right, today I'm going to give you a demo of how to play Gilded Souls, my chess-based fantasy game, which is still under development. This is only the second game ever to be recorded. The first game recording was done terribly without mindful consideration of the other user's experience. Uh, so hopefully this will be a better recording and show the game. So first, the player presses F4 and presses this middle button to connect to the server. I'm running the server, so I'm going to press the first button to run the server, and then I'm going to connect to it on my local client. On the other person's client, they would press the arena button again, F4, and just connect to the client. They should not turn on the server. The server is fixed to my IP address, so it will not work. So I've turned on the server in, on uh, multiple screens, one and this is my screen, and then on the other screen I have over here a second window of playing. Note that there's preset names that are hard coded right now, but later on this will be modular. So this right here is the unit control panel. You can scroll in with the mouse wheel or scroll out to zoom out. Um, you can press U to make it appear or disappear. And note it has a summon cost. That doesn't matter in this arena mode. The units are already summoned, like chests. It has maximum movement per turn. Armor, that's physical damage minus armor is the physical damage a unit will take. Magic uh, attack, physical attack. Sorry, that's magic defense right here. It's a hat, it's magic armor. Physical attack, magic attack, and the range of the distant attack. So this unit can attack from two tiles away with its ranged attack, which will be magic. Um, and so uh, there's also the tribe, which this is an arcane element uh, creature, spirit bear. Uh, this right here, this is a glitch. This will be fixed. And it's the elemental beast. Note it has three abilities, phase shift, arcane vortex, and magic mushroom. Magic Mushroom happens to not be implemented. It's one of the only abilities that isn't implemented, but the other abilities are implemented. And you can switch between the active ability with F1, F2, F3. And so if I click on a different unit, let's see. If I click on, there are still glitches. This is just alpha alpha. So if I click on movement, and this is the movement, this is the action mode bar, and I'll explain what this does in a second. If I click on the movement button and then click on a unit, I can switch my currently focused unit, and it updates the unit control panel to show what abilities that unit can do. And again, it shows their the uh, health, their element, magic attack, their tribe, this dragon is a wizard because it's a mage, who uses magic attacks, etc. And so it can move seven tiles in one turn and it has the ability blink now i happen to know that the ability blink is a teleport ability so i'm in movement mode so it can move pretty far on its own it can move there you go that moved uh, let me see something it didn't update its movement remaining so that's a glitch um, but then also i can use the ability blink i can switch to ability mode press F3 and then I can uh, oh this turn ended so I'm gonna go to the other player so um, and remember this is alpha alpha a lot of work went into getting the game usable even at this stage it's still alpha so there are still glitches and stuff so I'm this player on the right I can click on a unit I'll click on a light dragon I'll click on ability mode and then I will use switch F3 to blink, and then that's too far away. I will come <laughs> there using blink, and so the unit blinked and teleported over, but I still have seven movement tiles, so I could still <laughs> move it pretty far. It did update now. It, could, it moved uh, five tiles, and then I could switch to, I can't attack, because I've already attacked with that unit, but I still have six action points remaining, so I'll pick another ability. I'll do, um, let's see, for some reason my targeting is not. After using an ability, I have to re-click on movement in order to target a unit. This is a glitch. Please, 
bear with me a lot of code thousands of lines of code went into getting this game to this state so this is just an alpha video so let's say I do the arcane chronomancer can move three tiles <coughs> over there and I'll take the and I'm still in movement mode this is the action move bar action mode bar I will have my rainbow dove that can move seven tiles so I'll bring that out to the center I have two uh, action points remaining and it costs two action points to move a unit so then I will move I don't know I'll move my other rainbow elemental rainbow dove into the center. and now that I'm out of action points it says zero on this side I'm gonna end my turn so now it goes back over to this side and it is uh, this turn I have to click on movement and click on a unit my storm stallion can move very far I'm gonna move it <coughs> all the way over there and then I'm gonna press F2 uh, let's see what its abilities do so if I go over to this right here move this out of the way scroll it down this is the ability preview panel and you can click on the um, oh I see why I wasn't doing a preview because I wasn't in ability mode so I can click on this to make the ability preview mode uh, pop up it tells you the element type the magnitude that's how much damage it does the distance okay windstorm only has a distance of one I can click target info blast strike so I'll see this is what it does it targets uh, the center square where you click on and all the tiles around it and it doesn't do any buff or status effect so I'm gonna make this disappear and I'm gonna to switch to ability mode I'm gonna press F2 and I attack that unit and let me see does it show its health it is it did not take damage is that my unit let me see aha so it did not take damage because that is my unit I believe let me try moving it might not be my unit let me see what happened windstorm um, it might be that wind is immune it's been a while so it might be that wind is immune to wind I'm not a hundred percent sure let's see I'll check the uh, no wind is not oh you know why let's see no it has three magic defense okay I'm gonna try moving another unit I'm gonna do I'm gonna move my arcane fox over <coughs> pretty far and then I'm going to switch to blink and I'm gonna teleport um, <coughs> over there with blink so I'm out of action points so I'm gonna end my turn so now I'm going to go to the other client, move my uh, thing out of the way, and let's see. This is my, <coughs> my arcane dove, rainbow dove, so I can do an attack. I'm going to switch to ability mode, press F2 to do the ability. And let's see. Okay, it did the attack successfully. It reduced the Arcane Fox's health from 3 to 5. There was a damage reduction. If I go over to um, my Arcane Dove and I look at Arcane Blast and look at the basic info Arcane Blast, its magnitude is 5. And so it does 5 damage but the arcane fox has three magic armor so it only did two damage okay so um let's see what else i can do i can move <coughs> that light unit over and i will do uh i can't do light blast but i can heal so i can't do anything with that unit that i want to do so I will bring a archer over. I'm going to move this, move the mouse. Uh, rather, I'm going to make the ability preview panel disappear, and I'm going to move this light <coughs> archer over. 
it has not attacked it, can, it has a range of five so and it has a physical attack of one which is not very high but it has ranged attack so a magic attack so i will do uh let's see what happens when i do this magic attack remember this is alpha alpha about two years of game development work into this it's a pretty complicated game engine there's all the graphics involved, the sound effects, all the gameplay, and then online connectivity. So there are still glitches, so bear with me. Um, but let's try uh, lightning a basic uh, physical attack. So it has a range of three, sorry, range of five for magic attack. And I should be able to attack it. Aha. It did zero damage because the, ma the Arcane Fox has three magic armor. So I'm out of points, so I'm going to end my turn. Okay, so it's this side. Um, what units do I want to switch to move mode? I have my Storm Drake. Ah, Storm Drake is powerful, and it can move pretty far. I'm going to move it over here. And I... Let me see if that's my unit. Let me see... I need to add something that lets you see if a unit is your unit or a hostile unit. That is, I do not think that's this uh, client's unit. So I'm going to try Lightning Blast and switch to F2, switch to Ability. It didn't household. That must be my ability, my unit. All right, so I can't do that. I am going to switch to move more units over. Move that over. Move that over. Let's see. Will it let me do an arcane attack on that? No, because it's my unit. All right, I'm going to end my turn. And I'm going to move over to the other player. I'm going to move the action mode panel out of the way. So I'm pretty sure. Okay, so here's. So switch to movement mode. And I am going to do. F3 ability that's lightning blast. If I click over there, I see this is the attack profile for what it does. It does uh, four damage. It's a lightning tribe and it costs five. All right, so why is it not working? F1, F2, F3. Oh, it's distance. It's too far away. Let me see. It's distance of one. All right, so I'm too far away. I don't have all the abilities memorized. There's about a hundred something abilities, and this is still. <laughs> all right, so I'm one tile away. I have lightning blast selected. I press F. Aha! I did lightning damage, and this it did um, only one damage because lightning blast has a damage of four. But the arcane fox has damage, has magic armor of three. It's actually it can teleport, and it can do magic attack. Um, but it doesn't actually have that much damage. Uh, it's kind of a it's, well, it does have some damage. It has arcane blast, but it can it can uh, reflect magic damage. So like re reflect increases its magic armor, and it has magic armor to begin with. So it's kind of tanky. Um, I'm going to make that ability preview disappear. And let's say I'll bring over my solar, my light. <laughs> okay. And I don't have anything that can use for one. No. So I will end my turn. All right. I'm back to this player. And as you can see now, uh, there are a lot of units on the board. You know, it's not clear whose units are whose units. That's something I need to fix, obviously. Um, that's something that <laughs> hadn't occurred to me. I just need to add a UI element that shows that someone is hostile to you. So we'll click movement mode. All right, let's do, let me see what elemental rainbow does. Uh, F1, F2, F3, elemental rainbow. Magnitude, oh, that's a magic armor buff. Okay, so I have that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to switch. Oh, I did something. I did a glitch of some sort. 
Okay. I'm going to move this rainbow dove over to this arcane fox. Click into movement mode. Oh. For some reason my action points drained to zero. So I'm going to end my turn. Go over to the, my other player. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure that is my unit. So I'm going to do arcane blast. Switch to ability mode. And let me see. Wait. Let me see how much damage arcane blast does. It does five damage. Okay. And it costs three. But uh, that's an ally. Let me see something. Let's see. <laughs> that is not an ally. Why is that not working? F3. Let me check what's going on with that ability. So arcane blast, target info, unit square. So All right, so this ability is not working for some reason. All right, so I can't do that. Um, I can do a magic attack would not be useful. That's my, my uh, flight dragon. Let me see if this ability works. Oh, I killed the unit. I killed the light fox. Okay. And I've already used an attack or an ability. So I'm going to go over, move this. It's not my storm sally. And let's move <laughs> that guy over. And I will move this <laughs> over. And I will end my turn. So as you can see, with three abilities per unit, the permutations for kind of moves that you can do explodes to be ridiculous. And just to remind you, each unit has three abilities. It has a movement distance it can move. The play cost doesn't, isn't relevant in this mode. It has magic defense, health and elemental type, tribe, like this is an elemental beast although there are no abilities that currently utilize that stat. Physical attack, magic attack, and ranged attack. So this one has magic attack of three and a ranged attack of three. That's for a basic attack. It also has abilities like iridescent light, arcane blast, and elemental rainbow, although those abilities are not working currently. <coughs> Let's see. See, that's pretty important that that's not working. All right, let's do lightning blast. Let's see if that works. Okay, and it explains with resulting in defending unit Storm Drake with five health. That's you, S, G. So on the left hand side, there is, oh, that's a glitch that that's appearing over there. There is something called the U, uh, game status panel that explains uh, all the actions that have occurred. Um, there are still some glitches involved with it. Obviously, the game is still in alpha. I've said that a couple times. Um, there's definitely work to be done. You know, there are some glitches I need to fix in the near future. But I do think that this video should give you a general idea of the gameplay. You know, you switch between moving, attacking, magic attack, or range. This is a physical attack that's nearby. There's ranged attack, magic attack, abilities. And then if you uh, click on a unit, you see what abilities they have. So, yeah, this is my overall game. I know there's work to be done. But um, this should give you a general idea. Thank you.